Hey, it's me again. I just wanted to do a super quick little follow-up video on my mask making tutorial. And this is just kind of some different ways you can wear the masks with the elastics. On the ones that I make and the ones I have the tutorial for, I have the little channel sewn in and the elastic sewn into it, but it's not attached to the mask itself. There's you know, you could actually cut it off and pull the elastic out if you didn't like it. The healthcare workers are having to wear these things all day long. Even people working in the grocery stores with post office, pharmacies, places like that. So <clears throat> if you have your elastic on and it starts to really bother your ears, here's an idea. You can take a headband, sew a couple of buttons on it on either side. And it's really better if they're a little bit bigger than this one because the thicker elastic has a hard time so if you have a bigger button, that definitely works. Let's see if I can get this on. If not, we're just gonna laugh at me. <laughs> so, so you put the headband on and you have the buttons kind of just behind your ears. And this may cover my eyes or whatever. I look crazy trying to put this on. So you put the elastic over the button. I usually put the elastic a mask on and then the elastic over the button on either side my ears out. My kids say I look like I have elf ears. Let me have it up. And it kind of alleviates some of the strain on your ear. See, it's around the button and it pulls that, pulls that elastic off of the back of your ear and it's not quite as painful. So that might be one way for, for girls. I know a lot of men won't wear headbands. So if, you, if you're in the hospital and you have the scrub caps, the fabric scrub crap, caps. Think about sewing a button or even a, a, a hook or something on either side of your scrub cap to hook the elastic on. Here's another thought. Um, outside of the hospital, <coughs> a baseball cap. We just said we did yellow so you can see them better. But we said they're a little bit bigger buttons. We sewed a button on either side of the baseball cap. And this is a great idea for men if they're out and about. Put your cap on. Let's see if I can get this one to work too. And hook it on either that was much easier to hook on either button and takes the strain off your ears you have your mask on you're super safe don't rob any banks anyway just some quick little tips on things you could do or like with these masks like I said the the uh, elastic is not actually sewn into the mask it's just put in the channel that's there so you could snip the elastic off if you don't like it and put ties shoe strings work really good for this because they're meant to be tied so we ran some shoe strings through this mask see through the channel i tied a knot on either end of it just so it doesn't pull out now i cannot tie this while i'm on and you notice i sewed it upside down and then you can do the strings instead of the elastics shoe strings are meant to be tied hey i did it that was actually pretty good. Tie the bottom one if you don't want the elastics and you want the strings instead. I just discovered that. You know, I was thinking ribbon, but ribbon always comes loose. Shoe strings. Pick up some shoe strings at the dollar store. Run them through your mask, and you actually don't need, I hope you can understand me with that on, you don't need a safety pin because the shoe strings have the, uh, this hard little piece, and you can run it through the channel and feed it through there, not with the elastic in, it's very hard, but feed it through there and then pull it out the other end. Tie your knots and it holds it on. Anyway, some quick tips. I hope that helps, helps you stay safe and wear your mask a little more comfortably. And I hope you're all out there just, just doing what you're supposed to do. Thanks so much, you have a great day, bye.